In educational counseling and disability services, our role is to work with students with disabilities and determine what types of accommodations are reasonable and what is necessary, and we work to ensure that those accommodations are in place. We meet with students. We have uh, four different counselors who meet with students and maintain a caseload of students, so if they are having any issues or problems, they can discuss that with the counselor. I transferred here from Central Michigan University and I was enrolled in the student disability office there. Um, and when I transferred here, I was very surprised to see that they offer counseling um, and you're required to set up appointments at least once each semester to go over how you're progressing and set goals for yourself and make a plan on how you're going to accomplish those goals. I came and uh, I graduated from high school in 2007 and um, during that time I was transitioning to something I was looking for a career and uh, I found welding to be that. And so that uh, opened some opportunities for me um, to see uh, at a university level with um, disabilities to me would be a part of that and I didn't know um, I didn't know if I'd ever be able to make it into a university with my um, some of my disabilities, you know, with dyslexia and some of my reading and comprehension, uh, the things that I had trouble in. So um, Ferris has opened the door for that and being part of um, uh, now having the the, the skill set and uh, the knowledge, um, I've been able to live my dream. So. Disability Awareness Month is nationally recognized in the month of October. And so as a university, uh, we try to do something every year to commemorate it. A big part of what we do is organize events for the month so that people keep people with disabilities in mind for a little while. Disability issues uh, are important because really it's just another civil rights issue. With uh, disability, you have just another a group of people who um, are in a position to need uh, to enter society as an equal and as a valued member and because of their disabilities they sometimes are in a position to um, uh, to find that challenging. Like any minority group um, people with disabilities tend to sometimes get forgotten unless it somehow touches your life directly meaning you have a disability or you know somebody very close to you who has a disability or you work with people with disabilities it might not be something you think about, which doesn't mean at all that you're a bad person. It just means it's not something that crosses your mind. So when people schedule events and they book it in a room that's not accessible, or they show a video and it's not captioned, you know, things like that, where people just, it's not because they are mean-spirited, it's just because they didn't know or they didn't consider. So having a month to kind of raise awareness that there are people with different ability levels and different needs that kind of creates more awareness on campus. I became disabled later in life, so I guess it was something that I never thought of much until things started happening for me. Um, Disability Awareness Month is to let everybody out there see the disabilities that other people have and the fact that they need to be aware that there are a lot of students here that have disabilities and they have just as much of a right as anybody else to be in school and strive to get an education. The other thing I think is really important is I know that some professors kind of struggle with some of the issues around disability because in the classroom they're being asked to provide maybe uh, an extra kind of um, avenue, let's say, for, to, uh, to provide the material. And what I think is really important uh, for professors to understand that, that all that's being asked is that people allow all learners to be on the same plane, that everyone is equal. I think it's really important for the general public to have awareness of students with disabilities and just people in general with disabilities because it's kind of like a taboo subject and I feel like people with disabilities are kind of looked down on like they aren't mentally capable of going to college and 
furthering their education and getting a career, and that's not true at all. Even if you don't have a disability, the idea is that you need to be aware there's everybody has their things that they are they are good at and that they're not, and even the things you're not good at, you have to be able to work through that some way. And if you strive and you have that goal set in mind, um, just push harder. It may take a little more time, but eventually it'll pay off, and you'll you'll meet that goal. You know, never no, never undersell yourself.